In this video, I am making a family favorite, candy sweet potatoes. But before we get into that, if you're new to my channel, I'm Denise Jordan, and I teach women to make wise home health and beauty decisions. So if you want to learn more about running a household, subscribe. Or if you want to see reviews about products that can benefit you in your home, subscribe because I do videos on those topics all the time. So we hit that subscribe button and tap that little bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Okay, let's jump into it. One of the dishes that I love to have for Sunday dinner or to put on my holiday table is candied sweet potatoes. And actually, I learned how to make this particular recipe from my youngest sister, who learned from my mom, who learned from her mom, who learned from her mom. So it's pretty much a long-standing family recipe, but it just took me a little bit of time to get it just right. And the last time I made it, my son said, hmm, this tastes like Aunt Mickey. And I'm like, yes, I finally nailed it. I finally nailed it and I got that family taste, that special little taste of candy sweet potatoes that my family likes so well. So I'm gonna share that recipe with you today. But first, let's take a look at my new bowls. I don't usually do an unboxing in one of my cooking videos, but I ordered these new serving bowls because I wanted something pretty to put on the table for Thanksgiving, and I saw these. I will say that I was contacted by the Darwin company to ask if I would review one of their products. And when I looked at their line of serveware, oh my goodness, it was all I could do to figure out, well, which product did I want to review? And one of the things that I needed was some pretty white serving bowls to put on the table for Thanksgiving. And I don't know about you, but I've really gotten into using white serveware or gold or green, something that really makes the food pop so that when my family comes over, they're always like, oh, Denise, you just set such a beautiful table. And I wanted to add something new this year. And so I decided to order the 10-inch serving bowls. And they came two to a set. And they are beautiful. Let's take a look at them. So when I take a look at the box, the box says safe and healthy serving bowls. Porcelain, white, and very light. And then down here at the bottom, they've got several icons that indicate they're FDA approved, they're lead free, they're oven safe, microwave safe, dishwasher safe and freezer safe. Now that's what I'm talking about. Something that I can take from fridge to oven to table or fridge to microwave to table. And I can do that with those, but it looks like I can also take them from the freezer to the oven. So I'm excited about that. So this is truly the first time I've had them out of the box. So there's like a little little magazine leaflet in here that tells me all about the serveware. Tells me what'll happen if there's like a problem with the dishes that's from a number of different sources, how I can return them or get, get it made better or whatever. Look at this. I just thought, oh my goodness. I just love the shape of the bowl. The other thing that I really like about them is the fact that they're nice and flat. So I can put the food in there and it'll show up to a great advantage. And the other thing is that I like to videotape my food or photograph my food if I'm doing a video for something special and I can just see that food is going to just photograph in this beautifully and you get two bowls so I believe the set of two was like $29.99 for the set of two 
and I'm just loving them. They are going to be absolutely beautiful on the table. And those candy sweet potatoes are going to look perfect. Can't you just see those in this dish? And there's a lot more in this line. So, I wanted to let you see my new bowls. And then you'll see them on the table in just a little bit. So here are the things that you need to make this family favorite. And it's really not a lot of stuff. First of all, you need some sweet potatoes. And you want to try to get the longer, thinner ones because you're going to try to cut them in half-inch slices. So you don't want to get the, have the potatoes to be too big and make them difficult for you to peel and then slice because you're going to slice them into half-inch slices. You're going to need some butter, sugar, some lemon extract, butter extract, and then some ground nutmeg. And that is all you need. So let's get that started. The first thing I'm going to do is wash and peel the potatoes. And then I will put them in a dish. And then I will pour sugar over the top of them. And then add my spices and my butter. So let's get it started. Now in case you're wondering why I bother to wash them since I'm going to peel them, but I just like to start with a clean potato. I figure they're pretty dirty when they come to the store. They've been handled by lots of people. And then as I peel them and I expose the flesh of the potato, if they're dirty, I'm getting that dirt on the potato innards. So I just like to wash them up first and then I peel them. And I always start with a clean sink too. Now you want to cut them in about half inch slices because if you get them too thin, they won't stand up to the heat. So I rinsed the potatoes again. Now I'm going to put them in this baking dish. I'm just going to spread them out here on the baking dish and then I'm going to add my sugar. Just get this sugar sprinkled all about and I probably got about two cups of sugar in here. With the amount of potatoes that I've got, I've got about two cups of sugar. You have less potatoes, you won't need quite as much sugar. And then I'm going to sprinkle it with just a little bit of lemon extract. So I'm going to put my finger right here over the top and just kind of just sprinkle it like that. And the lemon extract is necessary. It gives it just the right flavor. Now I'm going to sprinkle it with a little butter extract. And if you don't have butter extract, you can use imitation butter flavor, but it won't be the same as the butter extract. Now I've got a half a cup of unsalted butter. And I don't think it really matters if it's salted or unsalted. But I'm going to dot the top with this half a cup of butter. So I'll cut it up into some squares. And then I'll cut it up into smaller pieces and just dot the top. And I just can't wait to see how it's going to look in my new serveware. I just think that orange is going to be beautiful in those white serving bowls. My Thanksgiving guests are going to be 
so impressed. And I know it sounds silly. Who cares what the food comes in? Most people just want to get at the food. But I think it's a lady thing. I like for my table to be beautiful. And when I saw those bowls, I knew they would be absolutely beautiful on my table. The other thing I really like about those bowls is the simplicity of them. I'm trying to go more simplistic, you know. As I come more and more to the realization that less is more, I'm trying to be able to do more with less. And those simple white bowls will be perfect for so many occasions. And yes, this is a lot of butter. But you know, I only do this a few times a year. Thanksgiving, Christmas, and every now and then for Sunday dinner, I'll make these sweet potatoes. The rest of the time, I'll just bake them real quick. Put a little brown sugar on them. But for Thanksgiving, or Sunday dinner, but particularly Thanksgiving, I will make these. One thing about sweet potatoes is you can make them ahead and set them in the fridge. Just cover them nicely, pretty tightly, and then pop them in the oven to warm them up and they're perfect. So this is certainly a make ahead dish. So now I just need to add a little bit of nutmeg and I was reminded not to put too much because if you put on too much nutmeg then your potatoes will be brown and you don't want that. You want nice orange potatoes so sprinkle them with a little nutmeg. So now we're going to cover this with some aluminum foil. And we're going to put it in the oven for about 30 to 45 minutes. So we'll just see how it does. And then, after it bakes covered for about 30 to 45 minutes, then I'll take the foil off and I'll bake it uncovered for about another 10 to 15 minutes. So let's go ahead and pop this in the oven. And if I didn't say it earlier, I've got the oven set for 350 degrees. I did preheat it. I let the oven heat up while I was preparing the potatoes. So now we'll just let the oven do its magic and then we'll come back. Okay, let's take a look at these potatoes. Look at those. Aren't they beautiful? Now that's what I'm talking about right there. So what I'm going to do now is just kind of spoon some of the juices over the potatoes. And they're pretty tender. So I think because of the number of potatoes that I had in there, I had to bake them for an hour on 350 degrees, but now they're nice and tender. And I did go in once off camera and just kind of spoon the juice over the tops of them just to make sure they were all getting moist. So now I'm gonna let them cook with the foil off for about 15 minutes. That'll just kind of firm them up just a little bit and then we'll get them out and give them a taste. All right, let's get these out of the oven. Oh, 
and they look beautiful. These potatoes look absolutely amazing, just so amazing, and there's nice amounts of buttery sauce in the dish. So I'm going to let them cool here for a minute, and then I'm going to put them into the serving dish. These potatoes look absolutely amazing, and they look beautiful in this white 10 inch Dawan serving dish. I am just so glad that Dawan reached out to me and asked me to showcase one of their dishes because it is the perfect accoutrement that I needed for my Thanksgiving table. And it is just so lightweight. So now let's give this a taste. Mmm. Nice and sweet, but not overly sweet. And the potatoes are just so tender. They're really good. You can taste the butter, the sugar, a little bit of the nutmeg. They're just great. I can't wait to put a little turkey and dressing with cranberry sauce and some green beans on the side. Here. Perfect. The hell you like some? So this is definitely a dish you will want on your Thanksgiving table. I'll put a link below so that you can get the recipe if you are so inclined. So I invite you to take a look at my Thanksgiving one-on-one -on -one playlist where I teach you how to roast a turkey, how to make collard greens, how to make my famous cornbread stuffing and mac and cheese and more. Definitely things that you'll want to have on your Thanksgiving table. And just so you know, I've raised three children. I've managed a home for more than 45 years and I am a nurse by profession. So if you want to learn more about running a household, cooking and cleaning and laundry and health and beauty, subscribe. I would love to have you as a member of the TNT community. In the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying goodbye. I will see you in the next video.